Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit use basic logic in checkbox formulas from the module advanced formulas. This is the very first unit of this module. So let's quickly move on to our challenge that we have on our plate. So here we are going to create a validation rule on opportunity object by the name close date alert. This validation rule will be checking if at all we are creating a new opportunity and that opportunity is not in close stage and has a close date in the past, then we should not be able to create that opportunity and it should throw a validation error. The error is also, uh, it is given out over here, the close date must be today or later. Uh, though this uh, message is not being checked, but this message uh, simply simplify itself that the close date must be of today or later. So these are the two fields that we are going to use in our validation rule in order to check whether uh, our opportunity has closed it in the past or in the today or in future. So let's quickly launch our trailhead playground, which I've already done over here and move to set, uh, move to set up from this gear like icon. And then you have to go to object manager, just select object manager. And here we are going to uh, select the object or search for the object opportunity in the quick find. Select the opportunity object and just if you scroll down a little bit, you will find that there is this last option as validation rule. Just click on this and simply this is the first validation rule that we are going to create on opportunity object. So click on new. And now here we are going to put out our logic for this very first validation. So here, first of all, let's put out the name of the validation, which we have already mentioned in our challenge. So this is the name. So I'm going to simply copy this close date alert and put out here in the rule name text area. Now description, uh, there is nothing much provided over here uh, in the challenge for description. So whenever this formula that we are going to provide over here gives out a true, then error message will be coming up on our screen uh, when we create the opportunity record. So let's quickly, uh, first of all, we have to use and function. So both the condition should be true as it is in, also mentioned in our challenge that criteria both must be true. So let's go back here and select and function from this function uh, list on your right. Just click on insert select uh, selected function. Now here, uh, this and is the function and inside the brackets, you will see that there are different, different uh, logic one or logic two and uh, so forth. You can see by uh, separated by comma, there are dots over here that specify that you can add uh, many logics after the, uh, after one another separated by commas, right? So here we are going to simply apply two logics. That is the first one is we are going to check if our, uh, the opportunity record that we are going to create, if it is not in close stage, right? So let's quickly add not function from here. This is the not function. I'll simply click on insert. So first of all, you have to select this. Uh, once you select this, this not function will automatically be uh, replacing this uh, the, uh, the pre-logical uh, one uh, attribute over here. So once you click on insert selected function, you can see that logic one has been removed and it has been replaced by not bracket logic. Now inside this logic, again, you select this and click on insert field. So here we are going to use this closed field, which has API name as is closed. So once you click on insert, this field will be uh, added in place of the uh, logic uh, variable that was present inside the not brackets, right? Now the second logic uh, we have to place at this place uh, where logical two uh, is written after the comma. Now here, the second logic that we are going to apply over here is the close date should not be of the past, right? So for that, we are going to check if our close date is less than today. So let's quickly uh, select this again, this logical two attribute and click on insert field. Select this close date, which has API name as close date without spaces then click on insert and this will be added over here. Now, 
we have to insert our operator. So click on this uh, button, insert operator, and just select less than. So select this one. And here we are going to add another function, which will be today. So just uh, type T alphabet on your keyboard. And if you scroll down, that uh, you will find that today function is over here. So just click on insert. So uh, that's all we had to do. Uh, these are the two conditions that we are providing inside and, and we are going to remove these uh, for the commas and dots over here. Now, this uh, validation rule will only work when both of these uh, conditions that we have provided in, inside and will be true. So let's quickly uh, just check syntax if there is any error. So as you can see, no errors found, that is fine. Now, the last thing that we have to do over here is we are going to put out the error message that if the conditions that we are providing inside this formula, uh, error condition formula box, if at all these two conditions are true, then this error should come up, right? If uh, the not is closed, if a uh, close is not uh, true, and close date is less than today, that means this is an opportunity which has close date from the past. That means this error has to be come up. This error has to be displayed. That's all we had to do, just click on save. And we are going to next test this out, this validation we are going to test out. So let's quickly go back to App Launcher page over here. And from App Launcher, I'm going to select the opportunity object. So just uh, in the quick find, just select opportunity. And here we are going to create a new opportunity record. So just simply click on new. Here I'm going to give, uh, let's say, test uh, of validation, right? Now the main logic comes up over here, a close date. So uh, let's suppose I today is 11th of October and I'll give out a date as of uh, past, uh, from the past, which is 10th of October, right? And uh, the stage, so is closed field, uh, we, as you can see, is closed checkbox uh, field is not present on this page layout, right? But still that will work uh, and how, let me just show you. Over here, we have stage. So in stage, if I select this prospecting, this means that our uh, opportunity is not yet closed, right? So now if, if we see that this is closed, a checkbox which specify that our opportunity is closed yet or not. So you can see as per the stage, this is not yet closed. It is in prospecting stage. And the close date is still uh, from the past, right? So we are giving out both these condition, which is not in closed stage and closed date is also less than today, right? So if our validation is working completely fine, then we must get error over here and we should not be able to save our record. So just cl uh, simply click on save and there you go, the error, the same error that we provided in our validation rule is coming up over here. The close date must be today or later. Right now, let's just uh, figure out by changing the stage from prospecting to if you scroll to the bottom by uh, selecting closed one or closed lost. So both of these uh, will make is closed checkbox true in the back end, which will automatically make this uh, uh, first condition false and this error will not come up. So let's just quickly go back there and change the stage from prospecting to either of these two. So I'm going to simply select close one, right? Now this error should not come up because we have made one of the condition in the and uh, uh, operator as false, right? So just uh, simply click on save. And there you go, the record has been created. Our validation rule has been bypassed and that's how we uh, can figure out that this is uh, the validation rule is working fine. So let's just quickly uh, get our validation uh, from here as well, that whether we have passed it or not, just simply click on check challenge to earn 500 points. And hopefully we should be able to complete this unit.
there you go this unit has been completed see you in the next video with another unit or module till then take care thank you